When modeling a building, it is helpful to have a site survey or site model to have the building context and locate it within the real world, making sure it is designed within the property and setback lines. In this session, you will learn how to attach a reference, move and rotate the reference, and then import geocoordinates from the reference. Let's start by opening the Explorer dialog and docking it to the interface. This is a frequently used dialog in Open Buildings Designer, and by docking it on the interface, you will always have it available. First, go back to the common tools and select the pull-down, and then select Explorer. This dialog should automatically dock on the left side of the interface. The Explorer dialog allows you to manage and control project content. It is a single interface that provides browsing function for files, links, items, resources, and sheet indexes. The Explorer dialog consists of five tabs. The File tab, Items tab, Resources tab, Sheet Index tab, and the Links tab. The File tab is used to browse and manage the file content, such as models, references, saved views, levels, styles, templates, and so on. The Items tab displays non-graphical business data in the model in a hierarchical order. It will be organized based on the data group system, more on that later. But note that currently you have a slab form, the entrance canopy, and a triforma element, which is the block model of the station building. Selection of objects in the Explorer dialog is synchronized to the selection of the corresponding objects in the model. The Resources tab displays resources used in the model, such as various styles, templates, and libraries. The Sheet Index tab allows you to manage sheet indexing. A sheet index is an organized and named collection of sheet models from one or more design files. The Links tab can be set up and used to see the linked data. It is a good way to navigate your project tree and move between models, drawings, and sheets. Select the Links tab and expand the project tree, building, models, design models. Note that there are additional models that are part of this project or work set, such as a 2D site survey and a 3D site survey model. You will now attach the survey 3D csitemodel.dgn as a reference file so that the station building is modeled in the correct context. Select the survey 3D and drag and drop it into view one. Set the attachment method to recommended and select OK. The Survey 3D model is now attached as a base reference file. You can't see it because it was not modeled near the 00 origin. It is typical that a civil file, such as a survey or a rail alignment, will be modeled at real-world coordinates rather than the 00 origin. Therefore, the two files do not align. It is necessary to move the site model reference file so that the building model is within that site property. Once that is done, you can import the real-world coordinates from the reference file, and the building model will also be geolocated. Activate View to Top and use the Fit View icon to fit all the files. Note that the Survey 3D reference is a good distance from the station building model. You will now move and rotate the Survey 3D reference so that it is aligned with the station building location. In View 2 Top, use the Fit View icon to fit only the active file. Open View 4 and rotate View 4 to Top and use the Fit View icon to fit only the reference file. The station building is intended to be located along the Lake Front Rail Line on King Street. Zoom into this area. Right press over the Survey 3D reference and select Move Reference. Select the lower left corner of the station building outline as the point to move from. Move the cursor to View 2 and select the lower left corner of the building as the point to move to. Right click or reset to finish. Next, you will rotate the Survey 3D reference so that the site is aligned with the station building 
or the x-axis. Right press over the Survey 3D reference and select Rotate Reference. Set the method to By Points. Select the first point, the pivot point, as the lower left corner near the ACS triad. Select the second point, the start of the rotation, as the lower right corner of the building outline on the Survey 3D reference. Select the third point to define the rotation as the lower right corner of the station model. Right click to reset and complete the rotation. This would be a good time to do a Control F to save settings. Now that the site is aligned with the building model, you can import the geo coordinate system from the site file so that the station building model can use the geo coordinate system to be a correctly aligned with the real world coordinates. From the geographic group on the Drawing Aids tab, select the Coordinate System tool. The geographic coordinate system dialog will open. Note that there is currently no geo coordinate system in the file. Select the From Reference icon in the Geographic Coordinate System dialog. The Geographic Coordinate System From Reference dialog will open, showing the attached reference. Select CSiteModel.dgn and then select OK. An alert will pop up about feature support in earlier versions of the software. Select OK. A second alert will pop up about the design file units. Select the option. The graphic elements are correctly drawn in feed. The storage units should not be changed, and select OK. The Geographic Coordinate System dialog should now show a Geographic Coordinate System of EPSG 2029 Helmert transformation. The building model has not been moved, so it is still modeled within the solids working area, which is very important. But it can now be correctly referenced to the site model using Geographic Coordinates or exported to applications like Google Earth and it will be correctly located in the real world. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.